One of Grinding Gear Games' goals for PoE2 is to introduce the game to a wider audience. Now, when I hear that, I think of developers wanting to provide access across all platforms. Let's be honest, sometimes addressing the needs of console players is an afterthought. Well, not for GGG. This update is a dream come true for console players. Now, GGG has dedicated a team for making PoE2 thrive on console. This update provides unmatched flexibility and customization for the console players. The console PoE2 will support our PS5 and Xbox series models. Now, let's review the console enhancements in Path of Exile 2. Players will be able to manually target enemies around them, giving the players much better control. The controller will work in combination with the keybinds. Now, PoE2 has 24 keybinds. Each skill has a default keybind, and controller players can choose to override that and assign the skills. It's in the player's hands where to assign the skills. The menu system has completely been overhauled for console, so it functions with the look and feel of PC. Controller players will be given shortcuts, making it easier and faster to equip and use items. And now probably the coolest feature, and one I suspect many will play, is the addition of Couch Co-op, which is going to be available not only on console, but also on PC. And this is where players can choose to play with a friend from beginning to end. Basically, you log in as a single player. You can then choose to log in a second player and add a friend. And the two of you on the same screen can play Path of Exile to, like I said, the whole story from beginning to end. Another thing GGG wants to do is demystify the complexity of Path of Exile. As we know, PoE has a reputation of being a very difficult game to understand. So in PoE 2, they're adding elements to the game to make it easier to grasp while still staying true to the complexity of PoE. They're doing this by adding systems in the game that provide more information through a help system, whereby selecting this feature provides information on what every stat does. PoE 2 will also include crossplay and cross progression. Now, all of us know what cross play is. What is cross progression? Well, cross progression allows you to play on PC. And if you want to carry over your progression and play on console, it'll allow you to carry your progression over to console and vice versa. And regarding when this is all going to happen, GGG has confirmed a beta at the end of the year, which will be available for PC and console players. All right, so that is a review of the deep, the console deep dive trailer that Grindy Gear Games has just released. And wow, what a banger. I have to say, Grindy Gear Games never ceases to amaze me. They are unparalleled when it comes to innovation and just how they're continually elevating the game. And I know there was a lot of people disappointed with the delay of Path of Exile 2 and the beta that technically, if they would have stuck to the original timeline, we would literally be a week or two weeks away from having access for those lucky people that were going to be given access. Uh, it would have been literally right around the corner, but unfortunately they had to delay it. And props to Grinding Gear Games for doing that. They don't want to release a half-baked half game, sorry. So kudos to them. I applaud them. They don't want to release a bad game. So they're taking their time and getting it right. And oh my God, the console players after watching this trailer are going to be popping a bottle of champagne. This, the features that this trailer reveals are just Unbelievable. I have to say, while watching this trailer, I actually started looking for my controller and putting the dust off on it. 
because it looks so amazing. And to, to dedicate a team strictly just for console is, again, unmatched, unbelievable. They're, everybody under the sun, I suspect, is going to try to get their hands on this game. It's just oozing creativity. Unbelievable that they are doing what they're doing. And, and I cannot, I hope, GGG, if you're watching, please give me access Oh my God, I, I'm dying to play this game as I would imagine many of you are. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick video on this trailer and summarize the video for you. I'm going to put a link to the trailer in the description of this video if you want to watch the full video, if you haven't already seen it. It's unbelievable. Console players are jumping up and down with joy right now. And I have to say, as a PC player, uh, I'm not envious. I'm just happy for them. And to GGG's credit, we all know since we heard about Path of Exile 2 coming to birth that the main reason, and, and Jonathan states this in the video, is they want to appeal to a wider audience. And they're doing this in two ways. Number one, the dedication that they're showing to the console community and also the fact that they've acknowledged the history of Path of Exile and that it has a reputation of being difficult to learn. And they wanted to mystify that in PoE too. Those two are going to be key contributors on what I suspect are, is going to be a very popular version of Path of Exile, PoE 2. And it is going to appeal to a much, much wider audience. Um, but only time will tell. We're, we're going to wait and see when, what late 2024 means. And hopefully I'm one of the lucky ones that gets to get my hands on this game. Because I'm telling you, I think a lot of people are going to be playing this game. Anyway, I hope you found the video informative. Let me know your thoughts. Le I want to hear from the console players. You you guys must be jumping up for joy. What do you guys think? I have to say the fact that you can customize your key bindings on a controller and that they've added these menu systems in the game that make it look and feel for a controller player like on PC and providing you quicker ways to equip and use items. Just brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I'd love to hear from console players. Let me hear what you think. What are your thoughts? Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And if you can like, comment, and subscribe, it would help grow my channel and support my channel immensely. And I would appreciate the support. And as always, thank you for watching. And we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.